Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices. Serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. It's time for Mountain Music, presented by Mountain Music Exchange, the heart of music in the mountains. Welcome to another edition of Mountain Music. This week down at Mountain Music Exchange, we got a guy all the way from Huntington, West Virginia, a guy named Jeremy Roberts. Let's head into the vinyl exchange room and take a listen. Give my money, if any, to my mother. Give my car away to someone who needs a ride. Moonshine and bluegrass music have always been common threads of inspiration that run through these mountains. But for many, so is church and hee-haw. A lot of stuff in church. I lived with my grandparents when I was young. And uh, it was you know, two times on Sunday and Wednesday. And then uh, there really wasn't a whole lot. I don't remember there being like a record player or anything in the house. Shows on TV, and as bad as it is to say, like the Lawrence Welk show and... Uh, at least the country music channel was good when I was young because they'd replay Hee Haw and of course watching the Grand Old Opry and stuff like that and any of the other stuff on uh, PBS, Austin City Limits, watching those early ones and still watch them. It really doesn't make much difference what type of household you grow up in. Here in the mountains, you cannot escape the mountain influence. When I was young, I wanted to be a rock and roll guy, but uh, of course the older I get, the lighter my music gets. But for some reason, my family was not into bluegrass. So I rebelled instead of being a punk rocker, like really got into that. <laughs> and I, I really wish I was a stronger player and had more knowledge of it than I do, but every time I'm around it, like, that really gets me going. I love the regional music from the area. I'm proud to be from this area, too. You can catch me by around on me. Everyone hopes their music will be played long after they're gone, and some songs are meant to be heard for that specific purpose. That was one of the first songs that I that I finished that I thought was good enough to like take out in front of people, and I, I wrote it uh, as a a way to tell my friends what to do with my stuff when I die. So I call this song "Last Will and Testament," and it's kind of like here's here's do with it what you will. <laughs> Yeah, cause that all the places got a piece of me. 